Jesus, the beautiful one, the awesome one, the amazing one, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the bright and morning star, the fairest of ten thousand, the one who is and was and is to come. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus. Precious Jesus, where would we be without you? Where would we be without your sacrifice on the cross for us? Where would we be without your precious blood that washes us clean? Where would we be without your holy word that builds us up, that feeds us, that makes us more and more like you? This is why we lift our hands and we worship you, Jesus, tonight. This is the reason why we give you glory and honor and praise and adoration. This is the reason why our hearts are yielded to you. The reason why every fiber of our beings, every cell of our bodies, every sinew, every ligament is yielded to worship and honor you. This is why we declare, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise you, Jesus. We love you for your kindness, for your patience, for your goodness towards us. Thank you for your precious Holy Spirit teacher, our guide, our strength, our power, our wisdom, our everything. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, we submit to you. We yield to you. Glorify the name of Jesus in this broadcast tonight. We love you. We surrender everything to you. Touch your people. Heal your people. Deliver your people. Save your people. Let your anointing be strong and mighty in this place. And may the name of Jesus be glorified. May our Father receive glory. We love you, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus forevermore. Welcome to our live broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Apostle Joseph Helen, coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. And my heart is full of love towards you. Let me see who we have online. Glory to Jesus. We have Jamal saying hallelujah, praise the Lord. Daisy, my daughter, saying hallelujah. Family got the time is right. We start at 7, we change the time to 7 p.m. East African time. So every single day we'll be coming to you an hour earlier. Okay. Glory to Jesus. Uh, Emesh, my dear, God bless you. Happy to see you. Caroline, my daughter, she says, praise God, Daddy. You all look wonderful tonight. Lots of love from Eldred. Oh, we love you, my dear. Just amazing, Caroline. Lady David says, blessed be God. Love you so much. Hallelujah. Lydia Mora, God bless you. Happy to see you. And then my son, Dero, says, I dear, dear love you. I love you right back, you wonderful child. Precious child, I love you so much. Lem Lemmy says, tuned in, most welcome, Lemmy. Zodwa, my dear, God bless you. Happy to see you. So much love towards you. Hallelujah. The anointing of God is just mighty here. The presence of the Spirit of God is hovering in this place. Jaitan, God bless you. So much love towards you. Hallelujah. Barack Opio, God bless you, is saying amen, glory be to God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, and then we have Rona Mwaka, God bless you my dear, she says, we praise you Lord Jesus, blessings indeed my dear, we are so grateful that you could find time to tune in, hallelujah, glory to God, all right, I want to carry on with the message for tonight, and I'm going to be revising a topic I taught a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, on time and chance. Reason being, when I looked into the spiritual realm, I found out that one of the major problems that people are experiencing in the area of finance and in the area of success is their inability to manage time and their chances right. So I want to just revise that. 
so that it can settle deep in your spirit. Can I put my mic away? Wonderful. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. So I want to carry on. And uh, I will just quickly revise this topic on time and chance. Time and chance. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 11, it talks about time and chance happening to everybody. But I want to break it down for you again as a matter of revision. And I'm going to be very slow so that this message settles in. Remember, it is time that creates money. How you use your time. How you use your time. The difference between the rich and the poor is in time management. How time is used. Okay? One hour in the presence of a rich man can take you much further than 30 days in the presence of a poor person. Now, one of the things poor people don't understand, by the way, we love poor people, and that's why we teach you these things, so you can move out of poverty into what God purchased for you on the cross. The Bible says, and we know the grace of our Lord Jesus, that though he was rich, he became poor so that you might become rich. So it's God's will that you become rich. Jesus did not become poor for nothing. He became poor, and the Bible says it very clearly, that you might become rich. Okay? Glory to Jesus. And that's found in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8. And verse 9, is it? Let's, let's just go, go there really quickly. And let me confirm that scripture. 2 Corinthians. I want to read it for you, so that you get to understand that this richest thing is not just something we come up with. It's, uh, it's something from the Word of God. Alright? Glory to Jesus. Yeah. Yes, it's 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9 and it says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might be rich. You see, Jesus was rich. Then he came to the earth and took away the riches that he had and transferred the riches to you. Don't think he just became poor like that. Remember Jesus took your sin to give you his righteousness. So he also took your poverty to give you his riches. It's an exchange. You get that? He took your sin away so that he can give you holiness. He took your sickness and diseases so he can give you divine health. He also took your poverty so that he could make you rich. Are you understanding that? So, why is it that Christians are still poor, even after Jesus became poor, so that the Christian can become rich? Why is that? I have the answer. The answer is in how you use your time. Because if an evil spirit has been harassing you financially, by one word we can cast that spirit out. So deliverance is one way of dealing with it but that's the easier way of dealing with it where the rubber meets the road is in time and chance okay there's something about money money will go to the person whose time is full of solutions if the time that you spend doing things is full of solutions to people's problems money will come your way do you know something? As I'm talking to you right now, I'm actually paying money to Facebook because I'm coming to you live on Facebook. They are solving a problem called communication. I need to talk to you and because I'm not close to you, I need a medium, which is what we call media in plural. So by enabling me to reach you, I have to pay them money. And the amount of time I spend on Facebook determines how much money I spend on Facebook. So the more of my problem of communication they solve, the more money I give them. Do you get that? Now, a poor person will spend the entire day complaining about a rich person. Do you get that? They'll spend a whole day wondering why this rich person is not just giving me money. He's got so much money, you know. The way he eats, he eats and even wastes some of his food. He just buys cars and buys things. Why can't he just give me a little money? 
what the poor person doesn't understand is that money follows principles. Money will not just follow your need. It will follow principles. And the principles that money follow are, one, good and solution-based use of time. So if you use your time to solve a problem, you will make money. It's not you may or might. You will make money. But if you're the kind of person who wastes time, then you're wasting the solutions you're supposed to be giving to the world. To that extent, the money that's supposed to come to you will not come to you. Instead, the money that's meant to be yours will go to someone else who's going to solve your problem called laziness. Because a lazy person still has to eat. And somebody has to give you food and you have to pay for that food. The Bible says there's so much food in the tillage of the poor. A rich person will come and get the, the land that belongs to a poor person and plant something there and sells the very same thing to the very same poor person. Do you see that? So how you use your time will determine whether you're going to be rich or not. How you use the chances given to you. A poor person can be given a chance to study. Then they blow it up because they think things should happen their way. You get that? A poor person can be given a book to read. Six months later, they haven't finished reading the book. That means they are somewhat averse to information. They are averse to knowledge, not knowing that knowledge and information is the way to go. Give a poor person a book to read. No, they'd rather you give them money. <laughs> Tell them, go to this particular link and read this particular article. No, I'd rather you give me money. I don't want to read. That's a poor person talking. So their time is spent on entertainment. What's entertainment? Entertainment is a solution to boredom. There is somebody out there solving your problem. What's your problem? You are bored. How do they solve it? By causing you to spend your bundles on your phone watching videos. Some of which might not just help you. They just entertain you. Do you see? So even if you don't do anything, you'll still spend money. So you know something? Isn't it better for you to be watched than for you to watch people and pay for it? Huh? <laughs> Are you seeing how it goes? Choose to use your time in a way that by the end of the day, that time has brought you money. If your time doesn't bring you money, but rather takes money away from you, there's a problem. Now, if your time takes money away from you, then it should make much more than it took from you. That's what you call profit. All right? So the Bible says Jesus became poor that you might become rich. So anyone who is saved qualifies to be rich. And why is it that a lot of saved people are not rich and prosperous? Why? Because they don't know how to use their time well. The people who are talented tend not to be time conscious. Have you noticed that? People who have a lot of talent tend to waste time. Then you find somebody who's not so talented, who's not so gifted, but they are good managers of time, they end up employing the talented one. Do you see? So, learn to use your time profitably. Okay, let me take you to the message, the revision that I have for you today. Glory to Jesus. Brenda salabra no telegrama supre cadu celebrinda la procodia. Jesus is wonderful. All right. So your ticket to financial success. Let me just read from what I've written here in my notes. Have you ever noticed that success rarely follows intelligence or prowess? There is much more to success than just having a degree qualification or a specialized skill. This is what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11. I return and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, and neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens to them all. God has already created something called time and chance, and he says it happens to them all. And how you use your time and chance will determine how your speed, your skill, your understanding will benefit you and humanity. All right? So let's look at a couple of things. Number one, you must have speed. You must have speed. Even though the race is not to the swift, 
you still need speed. Otherwise, you do not need to have aeroplanes that transport us so quickly from one location to another. Speed is still important. But speed must be mixed with something else for it to benefit you. If speed is not mixed with proper use of time and chance, that speed is not going to help you. Do you get that? So time and chance is the missing ingredient when we're dealing with speed. So you must have speed. You must develop the habit of being efficient and quick in all you do. Never postpone or procrastinate. Let me tell you something about me. I don't postpone. I don't procrastinate. I taught you that sleeping is good. But let me tell you when I deny myself sleep, when I have things to do and I've not finished them. I will finish those things first and make up on my sleep later. You get it? No procrastination, no postponement. If there's work to do, I must do it. Let me tell you something. Some company uh, contacted me early today, this morning, actually this afternoon, and they said, hey, what's going on? You need to create a business account because we've seen your Facebook page and you want to start putting adverts on your Facebook page. And each advert costs $200. We'll be paying you $200. And we want to put three adverts <laughs> every day. But the only thing that is lacking is that you've not yet created a business account. I said, oh my goodness, how is it that I didn't do that? So just before I came online, I was working on that business account. And I'm not going to sleep until I finish it. Do you know why? Because they've seen that my time is worth money. So they want to put in money so that they can advertise some of their fashionable things. I love fashion as well. Okay? And you know something? The time I'm spending to talk to you is now creating money without me asking you for tithes and offerings and seed. It's called wise use of time and chance. You get that? So that's just one person. So assuming that we do three adverts a day, that's six hundred dollars. How much do you earn a month? Huh? In a day. Six hundred dollars a day. Coming to you is already earning me money. Can you see why it's important to give? I've been giving this information for the last probably five months now, mm -hmm. since we started this thing. Yeah? This is a fifth month. How many of you are able to start a project that doesn't give you money and you stick to it for five months before it starts bringing you money? You see, it's called use of time. And because I have displayed that my time is worth it, somebody says, I want to advertise on your page. So please create a business account for your page. Then we can start transacting the, the, the adverts are ready. I'm the one who's not ready. So I'm the one wasting time. So I'm not sleeping tonight until I finish that work. I want you to learn that too. When you go to Facebook and you go post, post, you know, posting crazy useless things. Huh? Do you know that people are earning money by simply taking pictures, putting them on Instagram, then boosting them. And getting so many followers and then people start advertising on those boosted posts and then they start making a thousand dollars a week just taking pictures do you know the new real estate is social media listen to me if you have a one bedroom what are they called honey one bedroom what a cottage or yes. is that a cottage or studio it's studio. called a studio yes. my wife is in real estate so she understands this thing if you have a one bedroom studio just one bedroom, nothing else, toilet and everything, but just one, one room really, not one bedroom, one bedroom studio. The price that you pay per month if you rent such a uh, studio is $200, $200 a month. $200 a month. Now, if you have three such studios, then that will be what? $600 a month, all right? And here I am, I'm telling you, in one day, for somebody to rent my little space on my page, that's my real estate now, that's my land. Are you getting That's my house. That little space for them to rent, just for one day is $600. And you have gone, dug a foundation, you've used so many things, and now you put up the, your studios, probably you borrowed money to do it, and you're earning what? 
those three studios are earning you six hundred dollars a month and for me three adverts just three six hundred dollars within a few seconds so my second on my page is worth so much your big studio your big house <laughs> that has cost you so much money and occupies so much space still earns you much less you got to understand how business is done you people so the new real estate the new space to rent is online are you getting me yes where we stay and where we live and all that normal real estate houses and all that and property is still good but it's for long-term investment but for you to get what we call in business low-lying fruits start taking your instagram account seriously take your facebook page seriously take all these things you guys do seriously your picture is going to attract somebody and it can be turned into money it's called monetization so if you sit there saying there is lockdown i can't work has somebody locked down your picture have they locked down your phone have they locked down your facebook account why are people wasting time and chance? God Almighty, have mercy on your people. Oh, Jesus. You know, let's make the assumption. I'm only doing one, three adverts a day. $600. Let's even use $600 is now, let's say that's too high. Let's say I was being paid $20 per advert, yeah? Twenty dollars. That is sixty dollars a day. Yeah, I'm. I'm talking about I'm throwing away my space for sixty dollars a day. Uh huh. I want to break this thing down for you so that you learn to be rich instead of just going around gossiping and putting crazy things on Facebook. You know, people are putting food yet you're not selling food. Huh? Wasting your time. In fact, do you know that thing is called a timeline? You see, smart people how they name things. Zuckerberg names it a timeline. Within your timeline, how much money are you making? Or are you just wasting time? Mm -hmm. So you can be rich on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on all these social media plat platforms. So $60 a day. Let's say we take a break and we only do five days a week. So that's how many dollars a week? 300. All right. Multiply by four. How many dollars? $1,200 a month. Convert that to your local currency and see if you want to be a rich person. And what's your work? Taking beautiful pictures, putting on Instagram, spending a little more to boost them so that you have a few more followers. Once you have a lot of followers, the people that advertise will look for you because they know your time is worth it. You get that? So this is what we call time and chance time and chance jesus I hope, you, I hope you're getting it am i clear honey yes we're getting it am i clear to these people you are practice huh? i don't have a job stop talking like that you have time and chance you have a timeline it's a job it's a full-time job it can employ 10 people you can employ a cameraman and then you employ a, a social media manager and then you employ the content uh, manager somebody whose work is to look for content you know you can be you can be a whole industry that's how i work okay my new real estate is up in the clouds so every time people ask me so how is real estate say so the clouds are good you know up in the clouds mm -hmm. up there in the in the media world okay that's what trapeza tv is that's why i tell you trapeza tv that table of content because right now content is king if you have content, whether it's just pictures, pictures. You see, you wear your jeans and then you tell people how the jeans are worn. And take a good picture of it and you say, this is denim, this, denim, that. And this is how you wear it. This is how you rock it, you know, with a, with a, a buggy a sweater. And then, then you fold it at the front here and tie it. And it looks nice. And people begin to learn from you how to dress. And then you boost it and you get a few more people. By the time you're reaching 1,000 people, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, maybe 20,000 people, the advertisers will start looking for you because they'll think your content is worth it. Why are 10,000 people following you? 
your content is worth it. It's worth their time. That chance is a chance they cannot forego. Are you getting it? But what do we have today? People just want to gossip. Huh? They post the craziest of all things. Huh? Wasting what? Time and wasting the chance. Let me carry on. Glory to Jesus. Let me carry on. So number one, you must have speed. Do things quickly. Okay? Don't postpone. Don't procrastinate. Number two, activate strength from within your spirit as you speak in tongues and as you declare God's word in all situations. It's your choice to be strong. Don't say, I'm feeling tired. That feeling will go away as soon as somebody promises you money. If you're promised money, even if you're feeling tired, you'll walk miles to go pick up that money. Even if you're limping, you limp to go pick it up. So the, the whole idea of I'm feeling tired is just laziness. All right? Do the work first. Then you'll go and sleep for your eight hours. God has already given you the opportunity to rest when there is tiredness. That's called sleep. Do your work and then balance your time so that you sleep well to rejuvenate. Okay? Hallelujah. And then number three, you must activate wisdom through speech. This wisdom is called chokmah. It is wisdom for administration, for winning battles, for accounts, for planning, for wit inventions, okay, for computing. It's called chokmah wisdom. I've taught about the chokmah wisdom, so just go look for it on my Facebook page. You see, content, the table of contents, that's what trapeza is. So please follow this example. I started my live feed five months ago, all right? And right now, because it's worth people's time, they want to advertise on it and pay me money for it. It is a much better way of making money than harassing you with seed all the time. Okay? We, we need to graduate to higher levels of doing things, ladies and gentlemen. The church needs to graduate to higher levels of doing things. You know, we, we have bombarded the whole world with plant your seed and God will bless you. Plant your seed and God will bless you. Oh yes, you have not been blessed yet if you're honest. But if you use your time and your chance properly, you'll have enough money that it will be easy for you to fund the gospel of Jesus the right way because you love Jesus. You will give to him because you love him, not because a man of God or a woman of God won't give you a break. Give your money, give your money, give your seed, give before they preach. Give, 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 give. <laughs> Instead of teaching you how to make your own money that you can spend on your own self, your family, and on your own things. Then you make a bit more. Then it becomes easy out of gratitude for you to give to the church, to the benefit of the body of Christ. That's the right way to give. In fact, it's more sustainable. Because the more you work, the more you'll give. The more you make, the more you give. The more you give, the more you're blessed. The more you're blessed, the more you work. The more you work, the more you make. The more you make, the more you give. So you find yourself doing so much more for your family and so much more for the body of Christ. But if we just tell you, give, but we're not teaching you how to make the money, then that's not sustainable. That's not good business practice. It is Monday. I'm teaching you wisdom for finances. Okay? And I'm teaching you things that work for me. The reason God has enabled me by his grace, and I'm forever grateful, to be a prosperous and rich person is because of how I use my time and my chances and how I use my talent and my skills. That things God has given me, the way I use them, attract money. And I want you to learn the same thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is wonderful, isn't he? Okay. And then up, uh, number four, you must have understanding, perception, or discernment. This comes from a good knowledge of God's word. Study God's word. Spend a lot of time in the study of God's word. The things I'm teaching you today are things I have studied from God's word. And God's word works. It never returns void. Glory to Jesus. And then you must have skill. Do you know how to do crochet? Do you know how to make clothes? Are you a seamstress? Do you know how to cook? Do you know how to write? Do you know how to type things? Do you know how to take pictures? Do you know how to do videos? Do you know how to handle social media? Are you an expert in IT? Do you know how to treat people? Are you a medical doctor? Do you have a skill? If you don't have a skill, begin to develop that skill now. There are certain skills that you don't need money to develop. For example, you don't need money to develop singing skills. You need a voice. And as you listen to others sing, and as you imitate them, your voice will get better. You develop your skill that way. And some of you who are in the worship team, you can be going to your church to practice on church equipment. I don't think your pastor will stop you. 
to develop better skills of playing if you don't have your own equipment. And those of you who are good in boxing, yeah, you know how to box, you're a boxer. You can practice that without even going to a gym. You can practice that in your room. Okay? In fact, get bundles, go to YouTube and watch how they do it and copy. Develop your skill. Develop your skill. Dancing skills. Watch those who dance on YouTube and practice dancing. Develop your skill. And if you are in the field of academics, then develop your academic skills. All right? So that you can invent things for us. Are you getting that? So these five things I've mentioned. Number one is you must have speed. No procrastination. Number two, activate strength from within your spirit. And that comes when you talk in tongues. And then you must activate wisdom through speech. So talk the word of God that you've been taught. That's called wisdom. And then you must have understanding, perception or discernment. Okay? And this comes through study. Studying God's word and studying other books that contain the same information. Okay? Then you must have skill. So these five things are important to anyone that needs success. However, the five points are not enough. You can have them and still remain broke. You can have skill, speed, discernment, understanding, wisdom, and still be broke. All right? So what is the game changer? The game changer is time and chance. And that's what I started with. So many of you women are so beautiful to look at. Do you know that that's a gift from God? Do you know your beauty, for us to just look at how beautiful you are, will cause us to start liking certain dresses you wear. So you become a billboard. You can advertise clothes for people to wear. How did you know that underwear is worn the way it's worn? Because somebody displayed it on media. They said this side faces forward and this side faces backwards. Otherwise, you'd not even know how to wear a bra. You have to see it on some media somewhere. How they wear them. How did you know about cup sizes in your bra? Somebody said it and displayed it on media. Are you getting that? These are models coming. Models, if you're a beautiful woman and you love modeling, can I give you wisdom? Strutting on the runway is not it anymore. All right? You have to create your own profile and be your own boss so that you're in charge of your own beauty and your own product. And those pictures of yours will draw traffic towards your profile. And that traffic will draw advertisers towards your profile. And that's how you'll make money. So you're wasting your beauty. You've got to use your beauty in a way that glorifies God. All right? Even you gentlemen, time is up for just displaying your rippling muscles. Ooh. And another one. Ooh. You've got to learn how to monetize things like that. Time and chance. Okay? You're not God's gift to every woman. I keep saying that. You've not been created to attract every woman to yourself. Attract some money, come on. All right? Attract some money towards yourself. Then you'll be of benefit to that woman. Because you need to meet her needs. So your muscles alone will not take care of a woman. You get me? She needs to eat something. When all muscles have been displayed and all the rippling muscles have been, you know, biceps and triceps have been displayed and six packs. Some people tell me they only have one pack. They say that's also a muscle. That round is also a shape. <laughs> so you, I'm talking about these guys who like pumping and, and uh, toning their bodies. Now, once your body is toned like that and it looks nice and admirable, if you wear a vest, all of us will want to buy that vest. You see how it's done? Because there's value that you put to your body. And it makes what you wear look attractive. So when we go to the shop, we'll say, you know what? I want that vest that I saw that guy wearing. I want those beach shorts that I saw that guy wearing at the beach. His body so nicely toned and when we wore the beach shorts, he looked so good. So I want to buy the, the beach shorts. That's called marketing in business. You become a good marketer for products. But if yours is just to attract girls, then you're a stupid man. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> you get that? Now you've attracted the girl. What is she going to eat? What is she going to eat? That's the reason why the girl prefers the man with one pack. One big, it's called arc <laughs> deacon, you know, an arc. Deaconio is to serve. So he's an arc server. 
one muscle in front of him, but he can feed a woman. Are you getting that? So the lady would prefer such a guy than you with your six things here, looking like antidotes. Yeah? You've got to understand why God gave you that body that you have. It's for his glory. It's also for your benefit. You can monetize this thing. I'm teaching you about wisdom for finances. How to use your time and chance. Okay? Oh, Jesus. All right, so now listen. Time is an occurrence. So let me define for you time. Time is an occurrence. It's an occasion. It's an experience. And it's a fortune. If you look it up in Hebrew. That word time there is what? An occurrence, an occasion, an experience, and a fortune. Now, if there's an occurrence and you take a video of it and you post it online, do you know that you'll start making money because of that occurrence? If there's an occasion, a wedding, a birthday, and you take beautiful videos or pictures of them and you post them, people will want to see. As they are seeing, you are creating media. And the more people see the things you post, the more traffic you will have, the more traffic you have, the more advertisers will look for you, the more advertisers look for you, the more money you make. All TV stations, radio stations, even Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook, all of them make money out of advertisement. So they provide you with something to look at, and because so many people are looking at it, advertisers will say, oh, I saw a thousand people liking this thing. I want to advertise my product to those 1,000 people. Per adventure, I get 10 of them buying my product. You get that. That's how the world is thinking now. So those of you who understand social media right now are going to be the real estate moguls of today. Okay? You're going to beat guys who have houses and, and pieces of land everywhere. In the next five years or so, the real estate moguls will be people who are selling space up in the air not people selling space in an office building. You get me? Because with a phone like this, you can do all the work on your bed, lying on your pillow. I hope somebody's getting it. Oh my God. Stella, my dear, Stella Kiguta, I've missed you. Look, look, Stella is on there. Yeah? Hi, Stella, good to see you. Uh -huh, I'm here with my baby. <laughs> Teaching people about time. She says, wasting time is wasting global solutions. Wasting time is wasting life. You're right. Absolutely right. Glory to God. Lawrence Makaya. Greetings, Apostle Helen. Tuned in from Kasarani. God bless you, Lawrence. And we have Chatur Buj Pal saying good luck. We receive all the good luck and good fortunes. You know, good luck is good fortune. And fortune is time. We receive it. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stella says, people who are talented end up wasting a lot of time versus someone who is less talented. Use your time wisely. Lord, help me. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Stella says, have speed, proper use of time, and chance is essential. Be efficient in your use of time. Don't procrastinate. Wow. Stella, you're preaching to me. <laughs> She's preaching my message back to me. Combining speed and proper use of time and chance is essential. Be efficient in your use of time. Don't procrastinate. Wow, beautiful. Daisy says, monetize already. Wow, glory <laughs> to God. Yeah, you see, when I came to you five months ago, I had 1,800 followers on Apostle Joseph Helen's Facebook page. You don't sit there thinking, ah, I only have 1,800 followers. Someone else has 150,000. Ah. No, that's foolish. Just build your brand slowly by slowly. From 1,800, now we are 23,000. You know what? I'm aiming for a million. But I'm aiming for a million 50 people at a time. Okay? It's wise. I have my target. Every week I have a target of the number of people I need to get. And then I have a 10-year target too. Then I have a 50-year target too. Then I have a 100 years target. I have a son and a daughter. They need to inherit some serious real estate up in the sky. Are you getting me? So I have a 100 year plan. Glory to Jesus. So if in five months they are 23, how about another five months? 23,000, another five months? Maybe 50,000. Yeah. 
by the end of the year 100,000, then we'll go to a million, then 2 million, then 30 million. That's how it goes. And all this time, that time can be monetized. Glory to Jesus. Caroline says, wow, Desi, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Stella Kiguta asks, how are you monetizing your social media? Some people even show their underwears. I wish you were selling underwears. Then you'd buy them if you have good derriere <laughs> and you wear them properly. Derriere is the back place, you know? And you wear them properly and we think, wow, that underwear fits you so well. You know I'm an apostle, I just say things as they are. Then I'll say, next time I go to the shop, I want to buy an underwear like that because that person, it made them look so good. But some people put their underwears on, but they're not monetizing it. You see, there's a problem there. You've taken a picture of your, of your jeans, um, what is it called, sagging, so we can see your boxers. But you're not teaching us how to wear the boxers, so that we can monetize the fact that you look good in those boxers. Are you getting me, people? Time and chance. Glory to Jesus. Ah. Is your social media timeline earning you money? Line, uh -huh. a money line. Stella, you're speaking. Can you preach this? One of these fine days, I'll get, I'm going to bring Stella on. Okay? I'm going to get her on the screen so that she can talk to us a little bit. Because she's quite good at her work, by the way. Yeah. When it comes to PR, communication, oh, Stella is one person. But I promise one of these fine days, we're going to work together with you, Stella. Okay? Jethan says, learning some wisdom, yes, and make sure you apply it. Glory to God. You can be a whole industry. Yes, nice, my dear. That's, that's, Precisely it. Francis, good evening, Apostle. Is there some time changes on your live broadcast? I realize I'm always late. Yes, we change it to 7 o'clock. Yeah? We change to 7 o'clock. A lot more people are available at that time. 7 p.m. East African time. Okay? And if you miss it, then go to our YouTube channel because I post the very same thing. So if you miss it, go and watch it on YouTube channel. The picture quality is always much better, by the way. Okay? Yeah? Oh yes, and the videos, yes. We also do videos. My, my, my uh, media fellow, Mr. Danzomo, is asking me to tell you. We have videos as well that we post on our YouTube, Apostle Joseph Ella's YouTube channel. So if you miss this one, go and watch it over there. And of course you have my, you can reach me if you need to ask any questions, okay? So people subscribe to our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and then follow us on Instagram as well, Apostle Joseph Ella, and then Twitter as well. I post all these things on Twitter, Instagram, on YouTube and of course on Facebook so follow and subscribe as well and then share okay glory to God Stella says activate strength from within your spirit by speaking in tongue and applying the Word of God that's right Naisi says oh uh, Naisi is, is answering Francis Wepe and then Stella says activate wisdom through speech wisdom for computing creative ideas wit inventions wow Stella you're a genius <laughs> glory to God Francis says through that, talk about money, and you'll see <laughs> no one is lazy or sick or tired. That's right. If you say, I have a thousand dollars to give you, you'll find sick people getting off their bed and limping towards a thousand dollars. So why not just do that? Just get out of bed and work. Okay? <laughs> Jesus. Study God's word. Have skill. Glory to Jesus. God beyond having the skill and develop the skill. Go beyond having it and develop it. That's right. Glory to Jesus. Christine, my dear. Watching. Christine says, I'm watching. God bless you, my dear. Christine Jerogin. She's, she's the one who hosts me in some of the snippets we do. Uh, now we're talking about fasting made easy. We want to teach people how to fast. And Christine Jerogin helps me to host that program. Okay? So if you go to our YouTube channel, you'll find a couple of snippets that we put up, a couple of clips, glory to God. Okay, let me carry on. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So turn every occasion, occurrence, and experience into opportunity for business. So what's time? Time is an occurrence, an occasion, an experience, and fortune. That is the Hebrew definition of time. Okay? An occurrence, an occasion, an experience, and fortune. So if your father bequeaths you some money, that money is called time. It's a fortune. You get that? How you use that fortune determines how much that time is going to return back to you. Okay? 
Glory to God. I'm about to finish. All right? So turn every occasion, occurrence, and experience into opportunity for business. Never be discouraged or distraught because of loss, sucking, business failure, or any form of difficulties. Nobody's going to take your time away and your skill and your speed. There are things nobody can take away from you. Speed, understanding, skill, time. Yeah? No one can take that away from you. They can take their job away from you. But you still have time. And the chances are still there. Experiences are still there. Occurrences are still there. Occasions are still there. That's what we call fortune. Glory to God. So please, create some space up in the air and start selling it. That's real estate. The, the real real estate now is selling space in the air. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay? So now, these occasions for growth and progress are occurrences for learning and betterment. Their experience is born out of patience and tribulation. Experience works hope in you, and that hope cannot disappoint because it's born out of love of God in your heart by the Holy Spirit. So even if things don't work, maybe you started a, an Instagram thing and it's really, it's taking long. Stick there. Don't quit. Stick there. And don't compare yourself with anyone unless you are learning from them. All right? Because you'll be discouraged. You'll stop running in your lane and you start thinking you should join the other person's lane. Like I see sometimes on our streets, when one lane is moving, everybody wants to go to that lane. Instead of just staying put where you are, so that when all of them have moved, you have all the space to drive nicely. But everybody wants to go to the one that seems to be moving fast. Can you stick to your lane, develop your lane, so that they start joining your lane? Okay. If you have one follower on YouTube, congratulations! There's traffic already coming. One person! Hallelujah! You get that? Don't be a person who is so easily discouraged. Build from one, then go to two, then go to three, then go to four, then go to ten. Build it up. Build things up. Then you learn the ropes. And what you have built, nobody can take away from you. Because you become a master builder. That's what Paul was. Paul said, I'm a master builder. A master builder. All right? A master architect. Romans 5 verse 3 says, we glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit that is given to us. Now, I've defined for you time. What's time? An occasion. All right? An occurrence, an experience, and fortune. So what is chance? What is chance? Chance is an encounter with a person or event. Chance is an encounter with a person or event. Your encounter with me right now online is called chance. But there's also time because it's also an occasion, it's an experience, it's also an occurrence. Another thing, it's a fortune because what I'm telling you is a fortune. All right? So chance is what? An encounter with a person or event. It is a meeting with a person or a circumstance. All right? It's a reaching out to destiny helpers and a going between persons, much like an agent or a broker. Did you get that? Chance. Let me make it simple. It's meeting people. Okay? Chance is what? Meeting people. Let me make it as simple as I can. Chance is meeting people. Time is an occurrence, an experience, an occasion, fortune. That's time. Chance is meeting people. So what you do after you've met them will determine what your fortune will be. Okay? Glory to God. So there was a swift, strong, and wise, discerning, and skillful man that helped defend us and deliver a city. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes 9, verse 14 to 16. But because this guy was, <laughs> he was broke, he didn't, know, he didn't know how to use his time and chance properly. Do you know he met a king? Do you know that? This guy in Ecclesiastes 9 verse 14 to 16, can I read for you? There was a little city and a few men within it, and there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Verse 16, then said I, wisdom is better than strength, nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. What was wrong with this guy? He was wise enough. To deliver a city, that means he understood warfare. He had chokmah. He had the wisdom for war. He had the wisdom for administration. 
He knew how to rally soldiers together. He knew how to command them. He knew how to gather people together. The foolish man failed to monetize the whole thing. Come on. You can call people and they come together. Give them training and they come together. Supply them with weapons and they use the weapons. They defend a city until a king runs away from this little man. Even, oh my God, the mayor of the city forgot him. He didn't give the mayor of the city an invoice. Come on. Huh? He didn't give the supply of weapons. Oh my goodness. Look at how this wise man wasted his time and wasted his chance. He had an occasion to meet who? The mayor of the city. The city clerk. All the people that run the city. He met them all and still left the place broke. He wasted his chance meeting people. You see that? And that's why the Bible says nobody remembered him, though he was so wise. What do you do when you've solved the problem? Can you create an invoice? Can you monetize the solutions you give to people? You know, so many people are poor not because they don't have skill, but because they just don't monetize their skills. Can you quantify, value your skills, put a certain price tag to it, and then go and pitch what you've got? This poor guy, he even met the king that he defeated. Think about that. He defeated another king of another kingdom. Would he not have subjected that king to some form of tribute? Would he not have escorted the king back home and plundered a few things? Now that he was so wise that he could actually defend the city successfully. Would he not have said, you king, because you came to annoy me, these are my terms of engagement with you. For the next 12 months you'll be sending me gold. Otherwise, I'm coming to attack your city and take it for myself. The guy just sat back there with his laptop and his iPhone watching movies. <laughs> or creating more apps and not monetizing them. Are you getting it? This is the problem with this wise guy. All right. Glory to Jesus. So don't take your daily experiences lightly. Hallelujah. I'm done. Glory to God. Let me see what you people have said here. Jesus, Jesus. Glory to God. Okay, Stella says, practice stick to itiveness. That's right. Stick to itiveness. Stick ability. Remember, this is a revision. I taught this a couple of weeks ago. But when I looked at you in the spiritual realm, I saw people just watching TV, waiting to be told how many people have COVID. Huh? That's all you're waiting for every single day. You need to use your time right. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Practice stick to itiveness or stickability. Yeah? Don't quit. Don't you quit. Glory to Jesus. Caroline says, wow, 23,000 more grace to you, Daddy. I receive that grace in Jesus' name. We work on this thing. That's why you will not find us posting pictures that are of poor quality. All right, you not find me posting a picture, you know, picking my nose. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because that doesn't attract, okay? I always have my nice suit and my nice smile. And my, my baby always looking beautiful with her beautiful hair. All the time with her beautiful smile. You see, that's how you do these things, okay? You know very well you're not going to look at a picture that doesn't look good. That Apostle Helen was caught picking his nose. No, it might trend in a way that's embarrassing, but it's not. <laughs> but it's not a good thing. So you have to ensure that the things you do are beautiful. Okay. God bless you, every single one of you. I'm just so happy to have you online. My baby is holding my hand. And I need. To, <laughs> I need to go to the computer. <laughs> the girl you see there, that's my daughter Christine, a beautiful singer. All right. That's the one you're seeing over there sitting with me okay god bless every single one of you those of you who created time time to watch me i don't waste people's time time with apostle helen is time gained not time lost all right because god has taught me to train leaders you get that next week i want to hear testimonies next week a time like this i want to hear people saying apostle i've begun to use my account on instagram and youtube and all those things in the right way I want to gain traffic so that I can also monetize them. Okay? 
That is new real estate. Land is being sold up in the sky now. It's not, <laughs> it's not being sold down here. On the earth right now, because of the lockdown, it is a buyer's market, not a seller's market. Real estate is a bit slow now. But up in the sky, things are moving fast. So catch up quickly. Get some plots up in the sky. As in a few followers. That's what I mean. Okay? After that monetize. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'll be teaching you about prophecy. How to prophesy. How to speak forth the words that will bring you benefit. Okay? I'll be teaching you about prophecy. So please, go subscribe to Apostle Joseph Helen. Now you know why I keep asking you to subscribe. It's good. It's good. It's good business. Look, I'm telling you the truth. It's business. All right? And then follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and on our Facebook page, okay? And once you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click onto that bell so that every time we have posted something, you are alerted to watch and then share widely. I love you so very much. May you use your time and your chance the right way. Remember, time is an occurrence, an occasion, an experience, and fortune. And chance is meeting people. Whenever you meet somebody, that's a chance for something. If they are not, you can still monetize that. Okay? If they bring a problem, you can solve that problem and turn it into money. That's wisdom for finances. I love you. Enjoy yourself until tomorrow. Bye-bye.